Quasi the Okapi, a solitary creature, lives behind the scenes at the Nashville Zoo. Currently only about half of our animals are on exhibit. The rest actually live behind the scenes for research and breeding. Okapi are a rare species. Um, there's only about 15 or 20 zoos that have this particular species um, in human care in the United States. And we're lucky to have one here at the Nashville Zoo. The eight and a half year old hangs out by himself until backstage pass visitors stop to greet him. Most okapis in the wild are very nervous and shy. Um, even in zoos, um, if they're on exhibit, they're usually hanging out in the very back so you don't get to see them super up close. But Quasi actually loves the attention and loves getting to see people up close, especially if they have really delicious treats for him. Tour guide Jessica Knox always brings along a tasty treat for zoo goers to interact with Quasi. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold the piece of lettuce up. You're gonna kinda hold it to the side and he's going to wrap that nice long tongue and grab it straight from your fingers there. The herbivore has a 16 inch prehensile tongue with a purplish melanin on the tip. Since they're eating a good 15 hours out of the day, if they were to get a sunburn on their tongue, they wouldn't be able to eat, so it's a very good protection for them. Knox points out many mistake Okapi for being cousins of the zebra because of the stripes on their legs, but... Okapi are actually the only other animal on the planet related to the giraffe. Knox adds by scientific standards, the large-eared animals were only recently discovered in 1901 in the Democratic Republic of the Congo Rainforest. And there's a lot of trees and branches they have to maneuver around. So they actually have super long eyelashes to protect their eyes from any sticks that might get too close. And that hearing helps them hear if there's any danger, um, either predators like larger cat species or poachers that try to um, hunt them as well. And while their large ears help them listen for danger, a copy's sound cannot be detected by the human ear. But generally the only sound you hear Mr. Quasi uh, have is whenever he's chewing on some food. A copy communicate with infrared sound. So they actually speak at a decibel that is too low for humans to hear. Uh, this is very helpful because the lower the sound, the further distances those sounds travel, so it actually allows the okapi to communicate um, through that dense forest and over long distances. Because okapi are endangered, Nashville Zoo hopes Quasi will become part of their SSP breeding program. Yes. So this is an endangered species. Um, they're dealing with poaching for their pelt since it is so unique. They're also dealing with um, the loss of habitat from illegal mining for things like gold, diamonds, and something called Colton. And money spent on the backstage pass tickets goes directly to the conservation program for the species on the tour. The only way you can actually see and meet Mr. Quasi is on one of our backstage pass uh, tours are This Is How We Zoo Tour. Knox encourages those interested to book their backstage pass in advance. Currently right now, due to COVID-19 safety, we're allowing one group or family per tour. Um, since you're, you are in close proximity on our shuttle to drive around the back section of the zoo. Um, but we're hoping that as things get better, we'll be able to open up more spots for guests to join us. For this week's Zoopalooza, I'm Davis Nolan, News 2.